So the braking system on these sleds is uh, one thing that's neglected quite a bit, but it's pretty important to, uh, to service them. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do a uh, brake service um, on the fluid today, like how to um, replace the fluid and uh, also how to bleed the lines properly so you have uh, no issues through the season. Um, this is something that Skidoo recommends you do once per year. Um, a lot of people don't. I didn't do it last year and it almost uh, cost me the sled. Um, the, the caliper seized up and the pads locked on the rotor and uh, it was glowing bright red. That's how, uh, how hot they get when you, uh, when you have that issue. So it can get pretty dangerous, especially with your fuel lines right there. I had a lot of this stuff melted. You can see down here the uh, split loom melted and um, up here my uh, CDI box that was all melted. I had to replace that. So it can get pretty dangerous. So it's definitely something you want to do. It only takes a few minutes and uh, it'll definitely save you down the road. Okay, so up here we've got the um, master cylinder and uh, basically when the handlebars are straight you can see it's not very level. So what I do is I just turn the handlebars till I get this as level as I can. And what I'm going to do is take off the, um, the two uh, screws holding the cap on. And there is a, a gasket underneath. Just be, um, be careful uh, when you take this off that uh, that comes up with it or stays down. And there's a lot of times going to be uh, water in there and you don't really want that getting in your fluid. I mean, we're replacing it now, but um, if you ever had to take this off just to top it up, you'd uh, want to be careful of that. So the tools you need for this job, just a wrench, 10 millimeter wrench, screwdriver, hose here. Ideally a clear hose is best. Uh, catch can, um, some brake fluid. They recommend uh, dot three or dot four. Um, dot four for racing or heavy duty applications or dot three is fine for just about anything else. This is all I have, so that's what I'm using. And just a rag, just in case you have any uh, spillage. Okay, so that's the cap removed. Um, you can see this fluid is quite low, uh, should be a lot higher than that. It's actually below the minimum line on the little window there. Um, one thing to just keep note of is you, if you do push the uh, lever now, you are going to have brake fluid shooting out at you, so just be careful of that. If you have to uh, push it, just do that very gently. Um, one thing that uh, can happen with these is you can see the big hole there on the left and then the little hole to the right. Um, that can get plugged up and that's where you run into a lot of issues. So just um, just be aware of that. Sometimes you have to get a little pick in there to, uh, to clean that out. So I've just got a paper towel in there to soak up some of that fluid. I've got most of it out already, but um, just to show you, it's kind of dirty in there. So I just want to clean that out as best I can. Um, this is one season's use. I cleaned this out last year and um, you know it's still uh, getting kind of grungy in there so just clean all that out and uh, it also kind of give you the worst case scenario when you have uh, a lot of air in the line if you were just replacing the fluid you could take most of it out and then just top it up and bleed the brake and uh, until you see new fluid coming out that you kind of got it at that point but um, i like to do it this way just so i can clean that up nice and uh, not have to worry about anything Okay, so I've cleaned out the fluid reservoir there as best I could. Um, a lot of the times you're going to see um, some rusty water in there too, so you want to make sure you get all that cleaned out and um, have all that out of there. Next thing I've done is I've just put this wrench um, over top of my bleeder screw. You want to start with the left one there and then this hose attached to it. And I'll just run the hose into the uh, jar I've got here. Just like so. And so as the water or the uh, fluid comes out, um, you'll see it come out there as we uh, break or as we um, loosen off the, um, the bleeder screw. So I'm going to fill that up and then basically what we're going to do is pump the brakes. Just like going like so a few times till they're firm. We'll uh, release the bleeder screw and... Um, just until we get clear fluid coming out of here with no air in it, um, then that side's blood, and do the same side over, uh, same thing over on this. Okay, so I filled it up with brake fluid, and uh, down here what I've done is I've attached my wrench 
to 10 mil and uh, just rooted and then put the hose on and rooted it down into the jar there you just have to be able to make sure if you're doing it this way you have a clearance with that wrench to tighten it and uh, loosen it off so what we're going to do squeeze the brake three times just building up pressure and then we're going to hold it what we're going to do here is while that brake lever is still being depressed just go ahead and um, loosen off the uh, bleeder screw and once the uh, all, you'll feel all the pressure relieved in the brake handle um, then we'll just tighten it back again and then just keep repeating that process until we get clear br um, brake fluid with no air bubbles coming out in the end of the tube that's why a clear tube definitely makes this easier it's also good to have a second set of hands when you're doing this so as you do this obviously your um, brake fluid level here is going to go down um, you don't want it to get too low to where you're putting air back into the system so you just got to keep an eye on that as you're doing it and top that up so once you're done on that side just repeat the same process on the uh, right hand side and um, when you have everything nice and bled basically what you want to do is come back up here reinstall your um, the little gasket that goes on the top and your cover and then your two screws if you do end up putting too much in there where it overflows when you put the gasket in um, you can just bleed out a little bit of fluid until you um, you have enough room in there to put the gasket back in